Welcome back, I'm GamerMade0. Last time we finished updating the iron all the way up, making sure that we had all the belts upgraded, had enough constructors, assemblers along the line, so that way we could be producing as much industrial, encased industrial beams, it's like a tongue twister, as we can. Um, I mean, we can always add on. We are about six months left for the sulfur, but last episode we also locked the quartz so let's actually get the quartz on us now and let's go take a actually there we go quartz crystal so let's make as many quartz crystals as we can and then from there we're going to create uh, crystal oscillators so these are going to be what helps us build the vehicles and the maps and basically the exploration milestone. I think it's the cable holding me back here. I actually need cable for this one. I probably have that on this level. If not, it's the next level down. It's this one. Mm, nope, nope, that's not it. That's the next one. Even it froze a little bit. Okay. of those, maybe 300. There we go. Got tons of supercomputers, or tons of computers. I just wonder how the supercomputers are doing. Seeing as how it's not moving, probably at least have 50. Yep. This is probably all backed up too. Nice. All right, and Geronimo. So let's create some of the crystal oscillators here. Now create eight of them. It's partially because I don't have enough. I don't feel like that's going to be enough. <laughs> it's not going to let us click on it. We got three minutes left on that one, so let's actually get some of these items together here. So I won't need that. A lot of the reinforced iron plates. That actually might be good if I'm going to go out and actually build a conveyor belt. I need some more rods for the posts and some more concrete. don't need those steel ingots. I actually wonder if I have... Am I on the right level for this? I think I am. Yep, I think I am. So I was saying before how these weren't really filled up yet. Let's go fill them up. Okay, that one is. So it's mostly this one here. And then that one. Okay. Now we need two, three, four MK miners. 
containers and I have need more encased industrial beams but other than that I actually have more than enough of everything and then the portable miners those are pretty easy to make and I have at least two at each location so I only really need another four let's see not this level but I can get up here Probably don't need all of that. We'll just do that. Okay. And come down here and grab some concrete. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so we need four of these, but I can create those on site. I don't need to actually do that here. All right, I don't believe I'm going to need quick wire for anything. Don't actually think I'm going to need the steel beams. I'm probably going to want more copper wire though. Or just regular wire. Don't need plastic, don't need those. We'll get some more fuel before we head out. Do I need. Why do I have that on me? And why do I still have those three Blade Runners on me? That's a bit weird. Anyways. And I've been running around like that. Alright. Medicinal inhaler alien organs? Hmm. Let's do it. So we need a thousand, we need 25 rotors. I should have those in here. It's not quite 25. grab some copper wire yeah okay so we'll grab I think a thousand oh, I didn't ever power that side because I didn't need to so we probably already grabbed that See if this is at 500, that'd be better. Not quite. And eh, that's fine. Two. There we go. And then I'm going to need modular frames. I'm gonna grab like another stack of 50 just to keep over there. Oops. Okay. There we 
we go. Let's take a look at it. So we need three alien organs and then five mycelia. I think it's still five mycelia. Oh man. And I'm not even using the alien organs for anything else. Well, I'm going to be a lot more watchful for actually killing creatures now. <laughs> Well, that's actually pretty nice that we have a use for that now. I'm like wondering and hoping that we're gonna get like some sort of a amazing armor set or something like that from the carapace. So I don't know if that'll actually happen, but it'd be nice. Okay, let's check out the man. Percentage of sulfur in compounds is acceptable and can be extracted safely to create gunpowder-based explosives. The derived milestone can be found in Tier 4. Further research required for more precise use. Alright, let's just do the purple slug next. I'm going to need more, anyways, of both materials. A lot more. Alright, let's take a look around. We have the quartz over there and the sulfur over there. So I'm going to see if I can attempt to go straight for the quartz and see how hard that is. Let's go get some fuel. Because that quartz is what I want the most right now because we get that explorer vehicle. So that'll be awesome. And then we'll see if um, maybe it's easier to route the quartz to the sulfur, or if it might just be easier just to go straight there from the base. I'm not sure. Actually, one other thing I can do, and I almost forgot about this, is we can just... Um, There we go, quartz. This is probably going to take a little bit. So there is a quartz deposit here first and over there, but actually there's one over this way. Looks like there's two deposits. Are these actually not that far away? They're about a thousand meters, so it's a little bit away, but... Let's go check it out. It might be a lot easier. I feel like if in my right hand that was actually an umbrella instead of the uh, Xeno Basher, it'd be uh, like a Mary Poppins moment right here. Just Mary Poppins in across the map. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Yeah, these really aren't that far away. And all across the map like I did, and how long it takes to get there and back to the other ones. And there's some, like, right next door. Not quite, but... I don't even know if we're going to go as far as that hill there, or if they're going to be up on top of that hill back there. Hey, barrel nuts. Alright, let's do another scan. Probably about 
three to two hundred away now. Close. They're actually spaced apart from each other a little bit. Hey, lizard doggo. <laughs> I think I saw it up there. I don't think it can go all the way up. We'll just land on this little ledge here. And... No, I didn't see it. <laughs> it's probably just right around here. Wait. Okay, it's not actually showing. something. really weird so like when I launch this it should show me oh I probably launched that too soon it shows like a little blip right here So confused. Is it like under this hill or something? Whoa. Okay. somewhere what over this way is there like a I do not feel like I saw anything for that well that's a pain about to shoot at me. Alright, this is gonna drive me nuts. How in the world do I get to these? Wait, is there a cave over here? Is that just a down area? Oh, it's worth checking out. Eh. Of course there has to be a spitter over here. Gonna take this guy though. Okay. Thought there might be something special there, but not really.
Hmm. Oh, a big guy. Oh boy. Apparently I'm trying to die. I'm gonna grab this barrel nut here. Is that thing following me? I don't think so. Okay. Alright, well, I guess let's continue going around this mountain here. I really want to find that. Because it's a lot closer. That's going to be really disappointing if I can't even get to it. this area. I think this is where I ran through that one episode that I died, though now those episodes are becoming all too many. But where I kind of lost where it was over there somewhere. Wait, I said that one episode that I lost one of these firefly guys. There it is. <laughs> See, it helps to count them. I was still off a count and that was bothering me. Whoa, what did I miss? There. I apparently didn't remember how many of that count I was off on though. I just remember I was off. So you can get up here without, but one. I don't have a lot of room to back up. There we go. Three. Oh, I probably got whatever was up here already. Yeah, I remember going up that hill and trying to find it, and it's actually it was over here that I lost my body. I'm starting to become really familiar with the terrain. That's one thing I can't do in most games. Most games the terrain looks too similar. That's pretty cool. It's down there. Knowing where it is is not helping. I came up that earlier. Oh my goodness, so where's this cave? Because there's got to be a cave.
I think we're about to finish a circle here on this thing because I think I went up there. So if there's a cave, it's not like at the base of this thing here. I didn't see anything on top. So could it be farther out? Oh, that's messed up. Okay, let's take a look again. Is there another area I can search for it? That way. I bet that's in the cave too. I mean, because there's not really any other explanation for this. And if that doesn't work, we'll go to that one. I was over here not too long ago. Hmm. Yep, that's in whatever cave is down there. So, actually, that's coming from this way to this way. So if there is a cave... I'm wondering if the entrance are at the ends of the cave and not just something you can go down to. So if that's the case, we'll draw a line. It's coming over towards this area. Obviously, that's going to be hard to be precise because caves, by their very nature, are twisty. Still find, trying to find a way to dodge that creature right up close, but I haven't figured it out. So I think this thing is like a big cavern, but I don't think it had any like cave shoot-offs. I'm not sure. Jousting with the thing. Or maybe it's one of those like samurai things that they show in cartoons where they rush past each other and both of them are standing and then one of them falls and you have no idea what happened, but this guy lost. <laughs> Alright. Actually, what I'm wondering is since it comes this way, there's like the ocean down here, and I know it goes down. Is there possibly like a cliffside entrance? Down here? What in the world? Well. like it's supposed to be like that. Hmm. Yeah, that looks all funky and stuff. Compared to the rest of the map, that is. Oh, I don't want to land on those. and then we'll run back across the beach in the other direction. I'm trying to use logic to figure this out. Probably just spending way too much time on trying to figure out something that's probably a lot simpler. Yeah. 
and yep. Two and whoa. Three. There we go. There's a slug over there. I wonder what's up that way, or if that just goes right back to the same cavern. out just to be sure. I'm pretty sure that does just go back up there. Just making sure it didn't hatch. If it hatches I'll fight it but... So I didn't see anything, and that does go back up there. <clears throat> okay. So now there's this area over here by the fireflies. I'm not sure if that's just another area, or if that's an entrance to something. Or if it's like ramps up, or what. This looks like a cave. Alright guys, caves. I think, especially after the last several episodes, you know what that means. It means we're probably going to run into some spiders. So, just a warning, at least as good of a warning as I can get. Is this actually going to... Like, I see something down there, so I'm going to keep going, but like... Am I going to be able to... Okay, so I'm diving. Okay, and apparently I don't have an oxygen amount or something. Okay, this is super weird. I'm telling you right now, if this was real life, this would be one spot I would definitely not be doing this. Guessing I can get through here too. Oh yeah, that didn't even completely go underwater. I'm trying to keep my ears peeled for anything skittering. Let's go ahead and orient ourselves that way and that way. Okay, so we're going to want to go to the right. Looks like there's some stuff to the left too, but that's a lot farther away. And I think towards the right is actually closer to where our base is. I'm actually kind of shocked. I don't see a spider. I'm not going to question it. Just wondering where the ends of this cave is, because this cave is huge. And I obviously came in in the middle of it, like I was saying I didn't think I was going to be able to do. And it's a much bigger cave.
Ooh, right there. Yes. Okay. And a little bit farther in. Okay. So, how do we do this? No, I need the equipment workshop. Okay. So, I'm going to need to build two of these right now. One. Two. There. And I'm hoping this way there's a way out. There's no way I'm going to be able to build a belt under that. That's just not happening. But can I go up that way? Well, we're going to have to do that on the next episode. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. And we'll just leave it at that. So we'll see you guys next time. Oh. And there it comes. Hey, I can't climb this thing. I am really happy about that. Well, let's leave it here. Oh, it's trying to climb it. Oh. Alright, we're going to leave that alone for now. This is going to be a fun fight. So, we'll see you guys next time. And if you like the episode, please hit like and subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell if you guys want to see the next episode. And stay tuned for the next video where, obviously, I'm going to have to fight this thing. So, see you guys next time. Bye!